can fly to heaven Feel the fire in my soul Burning through, can't let go Can't let go, can't let go, can't let go No, no, won't let go, go Cause I'm running, 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 running Can't let go, can't let go, can't let go No, no, won't let go, go Cause I'm running, running, running
just take control. Free your mind, feel free. You can even touch the sky. I, I, I. You can even touch your soul. Oh, free your mind, free your mind. Don't wait to free your mind. Just let it out tonight. You are a work of art. Just spread your wings and fly. Be bold and come alive. Don't let them take your shine, shine, shine. You got the fire, look. You got the fire. Uh, you got the fire, look. You got the fire. Uh, you got to fly, my love. You got to fly, yeah. You got to fly, my love. You got to fly. Already 
already been paid This lies beyond the shadows Everything is in control I can see the void in your heart I can see the pain in your scars Feeling off and empty Looking for a missing piece What is the bigger picture? This is the part of the master plan Cause right now I know I'm not
that space. So if you go out there and see Viola's work, I hope you interact with the way you understand it and you enjoy all her pieces as well. Thank you. All right. I give it up for Viola. So, well, I'm Senna Tews, but my people know me to be Alexander Senna and Bumpo. All right, so Senna, we want to understand what's the inspiration behind the work you have? Well, the inspiration behind my work are um, from the pictures that I, random pictures that I collected you know, from the friends and family and you know, um, the society that I grew up in. Alright, so um, observing the works that you've exhibited here today, most of your subjects are men, but then they have this community that you them. Can you give us a whole understanding of why men? I grew up in a neighborhood where I I grew up in a neighborhood where lots of boys and young guys. Secondly, I love men, not, this, not in a different you know, perspective, though, but like, I love men. I like that they are character. Moreover, I am a man too as well, you know. So why wouldn't I just you know, be the voice for men, you know, and put them on camera? Tell us about um, your favorite piece that you've exhibited here tonight. They are all my favorite piece. They all. Um, I think everything is in the way, you know. So. Um, the viewers or collectors here should you know, just um, sell the work and get related to the work, you know, the works on the wall. Alright, that's great. Thank you so much, Sena. And I hope they interact your work as we want them to. Let's see where we're going for next. Mm. Pick it up. Tell us about them briefly. Um. Well, I'll start by saying welcome to each and everyone over here. Um, since we're actually doing nineties, I think my cap needs to go to the back. Okay, that's with the location in the world. The West itself is actually what I titled the Black Age series. It's just a, a one night show that actually happened just last week. Um, it's not charcoal, it's not pencil, it's acrylic. And so the ones that have been close to me and talking about Oh, I love your chocolate. I love your pencil. It is not. It is actually acrylic paint. The technique is very unique, yes, I know. And then also, it comes to the extent of maybe getting to have the essence of more wrinkles that we have on face, but then looking at the beauty behind it. And I call each and every one. I mean, each and every kind of beauty out of it. Cool. And so that's it. More details. As and when you scan the barcodes on, you might probably just have it to be close to the um, website. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. You can give it up for Patrick as well. Vicar, are you here? What? Captivating. The one that caught my eye was the one with the mask on your face. So tell us about that one. Um, okay. The one with the mask is titled Ibojo. And um, like that, it means being blindfolded. So um, I use myself as an inspiration to it because I'm new here in Ghana and a lot of things are new to me. So, um, like for an instance, if we are asked to walk in an environment, we have been before, like when you walk within your house and you have a blindfold on, at that moment you are going to discover that you try to picture every um, space within you. Um, before you take each step, you try to imagine the environment. So you are just trying to talk about us being um, more mindful of our environment and we have a deeper insight of things. When we shut down um, the physical eyes, we have distractions all within the environment and we see beyond what the physical eyes can interpret. That's great. So um, when we pay attention to your works, they are very fine and very detailed to the extent that it may be construed as a digital work. What are the mediums you use? Um, I use acrylic acrylic on canvas. So that's great. Thank you, Vicar. Right. I think we can give it up for Vicar. So moving on to the only motion designer here tonight. So when you go to the second room, his 
So mind you, Eugene's work centric. They are not um, the basic animations you see. So he's going to tell us what inspires the work he does. So we are, when we go back in there to interact with his work, you understand where he's coming from and what exactly he's trying to portray. All right, hi, Eugene. Eugene, tell us about your work, what you do, what inspires you, what you're trying to let us understand as well. So, my work is actually a fusion of trippy sense and then the other culture, the Ghanaian culture. So, I, I just decided to do some very different because I realized that there's nobody in the world. So, I, I actually don't have any background in my temporary arts. I didn't study arts in school, but I didn't know it. I just had a passion for arts and then I decided to do it. So, the decision to do it was uh, very hard because I wanted to start out. And the only way I thought I, I, I thought I was going to start out was to come out and do my emotional design. Thank you so much, Eugene. I hope when you go out there, you interact with his work as he has explained it to you, and you can also get your own deductions from it as well. Samuel Graham, also known as Samo, like this. The first pieces you interact with are Samo's works. They are highly pixelated. All right. So tell us why the pixelation. Okay, so I'm inspired by my eyesight. So I am short-sighted, and so I decided to um, portray my eyesight using pixels, right? So basically, how I see people without my glasses. Um, the portrait you mind we if have, I, you know, I have, I have mean, in, in the shows um, people with pixelated faces, very thick pixels, huge pixels, and it shows how I see people when I am not wearing my glasses and when they are trying to interact with me from a distance. And there are portions where um, we see like a vivid image of some parts of the face. I, I left that part to, to basically um, show how like I try to identify people without my glasses from a distance. So by squinting, I'll be able to capture certain um, certain um, parts of the face that I can identify from the person I'm trying to engage with. And then that's why I leave those um, parts very um, detailed. So basically, it's basically about my eyesight. Alright, so your works also have um, the use of bold colors. Is that what resonates with you? Tell us why the bold colors. So bold colors because it's, it shows my personality. I'm sanguine and I'm very loud and bubbly. But right now I'm shaking and I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. But yeah, bold colors because it shows my personality basically. Thank you so much, Samuel. You have to be Hi, my dad. Tell us why I My work seems to create that kind of conversation between uh, the female and the other dog. That's a symbol of fertility. So when I take you back to the indigenous African era, uh, especially in the Ashanti kind of uh, kingdom, they used to use this Ekiaba dolls, and these dolls are symbols of fertility, and they are meant for procreation. So it's the belief that when a woman carries these dolls, like she becomes fertile. Though we all believe that God is the creator and God is the one who provides children for everyone. You get that kind of picture I'm trying to paint. But the Kiaba doll is a symbol of fertility. So when I bring them in my painting, I'm trying to drag across that information to you to talk about the female being able to conceive when she carries the doll and all of that. So, Basically, that's what I'm trying to talk about. Alright, that's great. Thank you, Kujo. So, before we move on to the raffles and other exciting things going to happen tonight, we still have a few artists to talk to. It's Samuel Blankson here. I don't know, if you're not an artist here and I'll put you on the spot and I'll call you up and then they're clapping for you, we are clapping for Emmanuel right now. I think very happy here. Thank 
I'm a bit shy, so let's see. I'm Viva Iwano, and I actually talk about sports, lifestyle, and personal experience. So, I actually create from pain. Like the way nobody clapped when I stood. I take that energy and then I. You know what? After we leave here, the painting you paint from this energy, you won't see it. Sure. Well, you don't want to see it. Sure. You won't we'll see what your energy has caused and what it has produced. Alright. So, um, when we look at your works, they are scribbled in it. They are a bit scribbly. So, tell us why that's the nature, the, the triangular shaped eyes. All the nitty-gritty details that make your work your work. Tell us about it. Okay, when we talk about the scribble, it's, it's just about the indecisiveness of money. So when I was a kid, I was very indecisive. I didn't know how to take decisions. Maybe I was told to stop painting and drawing. So that was the pain I was living in. I became the dumbest kid in class. But well, when I go back to my canvas, I knew what I was doing. When it comes to the eyes, everybody sees from a different angle. That's why you see the eyes to be in the triangular shape. All right. Thank you so much, Manuel. Thank you. I think I'll do better for myself. So I don't have more than you for All right. Is that why you put me out here? I don't have a tattoo on my back. Don't believe it. And I don't wear good in a clip. As you can see. So definitely know me. So um, I'll talk about that painting because I kind of really, really like it. So with that painting in particular, I call it frailty. And the tattoo at the back is the Chinese definition of woman. So though a woman, in this present age, a woman says, I can do better than a man. I'm a, you know, independent boss lady and all of that. When you go back to it, a woman is always supposed to be a helpmate and is always supposed to be submissive. And whatever you do, we are the frail gender. So that's how come I portrayed her in that position. Now moving on to the other work where the lady has a gavel on the tongue. I believe the tongue has enormous power to judge your life. So what you say today can later on determine the destiny of your life. Thank you so much. So go in, enjoy all the ass works. When you come out, we're gonna have an auction, we're gonna have a raffle, and the best dress in the 90s outfit. Just a gift. I'll tell you all about it later. But we'll enjoy your night here. Thank you.